Happy New Year! It's officially 2020, and let's get into everything that we know Tesla is coming out with in 2020. Well, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that the Model Y is coming out in 2020, and that I'm super excited about it because I pre-ordered one, and I can't wait to get it. And it should be in full force of production in summer of 2020, that's what Tesla said most recently, and there's some rumors that it might even be a little earlier, but we definitely know that car is coming out in 2020 which is actually this year, which is crazy that it's 2020. So the Model Y was announced in March of 2019, and if they get to production when they're saying, this is gonna be the fastest turnaround between Tesla announcing some product and then actually releasing it. And that's most likely because they've figured out Model 3 production, and the Model Y is 75% the same as the Model 3, and they really can just take most of that process and just streamline it and change it just a tiny bit over to the Model Y, and they'll have that all figured out, probably really easy for them to do. So if you don't know already, the Model Y is Tesla's compact crossover SUV, and it's supposed to get up to 300 miles of range, and possibly more by the time it releases. I'm estimating that it'll be a little more, and then a zero to 60 of as low as 3.5 seconds. For a complete guide about the Model Y, you can click up here or in the description below, or just watch pretty much any of my videos because I talk about it in most of them. All right, next up is the Tesla Semi. So this was announced all the way back in 2017, and they were supposed to release it in 2019, but clearly, since it's now 2020, it wasn't released. So it's technically been three years if you go 2017 to 2020. It's actually been less than that, but we haven't seen it yet. And people have pre-ordered this, and companies have pre-ordered this, but they haven't actually released it yet. And it looks like all signs are pointing to it coming out in 2020. They probably pushed back production times because they were dealing with the Model 3 and the production hell that they had going on there. And now that they've figured that out, they're probably able to work on other stuff, get the Model Y out, and get the Semi out. And overall, the Semi is not something that the average person is going to buy. So the Tesla Semi has four independent motors. It has a 0.36 drag coefficient, a 20 second 0 to 60 when it's carrying 80,000 pounds and it's supposed to consume less than two kilowatt hours per mile. And so according to Tesla, they're gonna come out with two versions. One is a 300 mile version for $150,000, and then another is a 500 mile version for $180,000. And the reservation price for these is $20,000. Although in May of 2018, Elon did hint that they're probably gonna get closer to 600 miles of range by the time this actually comes out. It has two screens built in, and it uses autopilot as well, and it's supposed to have the lowest cost of ownership of any semi-truck out there. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you probably don't need a semi-truck, but it's definitely something that contributes to Tesla's vision to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. And overall, if Tesla announced it, we definitely want to see them actually come out with it. So last we heard from Tesla, they're supposed to be doing limited volume in 2020 of the semi. So that's this year. And then there's also rumors that those are actually going to be built at Gigafactory 1, which is in Nevada. All right, now on to a car with a much wider audience, the Model S. So it looks like Tesla is probably going to be refreshing the Model S at least a little bit and come out with the new Plaid variant. So the Model S has been out since 2012, and not a ton has changed since then. I mean, sure, a lot has changed regarding performance, range, autopilot, the premium interior, the glass roof, and the front grille, but overall the design pretty much looks aesthetically the same, especially inside. So at this point it's been about eight years since this car came out, and there were rumors in 2018 that they were going to change it up a little bit a year later, and that would have been 2019, and that definitely didn't happen, so we're hoping that it's going to happen this year. We do know for sure that Tesla has been working on their Plaid variant of the Model S, which is supposed to be their fastest one yet, and it's supposed to use a tri-motor system to achieve just absolutely ridiculous performance. In addition to this, there have been some rumors and leaked images that point to the fact that Tesla might be moving to a horizontal display instead of a vertical one on the Model S. Since the Model S and the X, the Model 3, the Model Y, and the Cybertruck, and even the Semi have all come out with horizontal displays, and they're really nice, they're mounted there, and it's actually out, it's not built into the dash, it comes out from the dash, and it's really nice. And it looks like Tesla's planning to do this in the future with the Model S, and most likely the Model X as well. Some images obtained by Electric show this updated horizontal display, and it's likely that they're gonna come out with that hopefully sometime this year. Additionally, as they were coming back from some track testing, we saw versions of the Model S, the Plaid variant, that actually, it looks like, 
had that horizontal display built into it. It's really, really hard to tell from this image. I wouldn't have guessed it if I had seen that image, but according to other websites like Teslarati and what other people are seeing, it looks like this is definitely the horizontal display. All right, up next is the new Tesla battery. Signs are pointing that this is gonna come out this year, and I'm really hoping that it does. So for a while now, all signs have been pointing to the fact that Tesla is gonna be building their own battery cells as opposed to partnering with other companies. We know they've acquired a few battery companies and they've pretty much said everything except actually saying that they're gonna be making their own battery cells. Tesla has a planned battery and powertrain investor day this year, and it's expected that Elon is finally gonna announce what he's been talking about with a million mile battery. Elon said, quote, the new battery pack that is probably going to production next year is designed explicitly for 1 million miles of operation. And of course he said that last year, so it should come out this year. And yes, 1 million miles, that's a lot of miles. Currently Tesla says their battery packs last for about 300,000 to 500,000 miles. So that would be essentially doubling what the top of their battery packs are now. I really hope this comes quick because I definitely want that 1 million mile battery in my Tesla Model Y. But we'll see what happens because Elon did say probably, and we know from the past that his predictions aren't always exactly accurate. However, he has been getting a little bit better at that, and especially if the Model Y comes out on time, it's going to show that Elon's doing a little better at saying something's going to come out by a certain date and actually delivering it. All right, last up is the Roadster, maybe? So announced back at the end of 2017, the new Tesla Roadster gets about 620 miles of range. Yes, 620 miles of range. And it's supposed to have a top speed upwards of 250 miles per hour, and then a crazy zero to 60 of 1.9 seconds. Now we don't know much else about this car except for the specs and that it has a base price of $200,000. And it's supposed to come out in 2020, assuming all things go well. It definitely looks awesome, but Elon has been pretty clear that this isn't Tesla's main priority because this isn't exactly what's gonna to lead to an all electric future. It's just basically what's gonna show that electric cars are better than gas cars in performance. And at a $200,000 base price, they're not gonna have a huge audience for this electric car. So it's not really their top priority. And we do know that they went through production hell, as I said earlier, with the Model 3. So that probably delayed production on almost everything they were doing and I'm guessing the Roadster might actually be a little late. But I'm really hoping that it comes out in 2020 because I'm just really excited to see it sooner rather than later because of all the YouTubers that are gonna get some. So the current Tesla referral program works such that if you use the link in the description below, you get a thousand free supercharger miles and I get them as well. And then on top of that, I get entered into a drawing to possibly win a Model Y or a Roadster. It's still pretty cool, but the old program was pretty crazy. This program ended on February 2nd, 2019, but basically what it was is that every referral got you 2% off of a Roadster, and there was no limit. So you had YouTubers like Andy Sly and Ben Solens who went forward and they got tons of Tesla referrals to the point where they got a free Roadster. Actually, it got so crazy that these guys, along with a bunch of others, actually got two Roadsters. Why didn't I start this channel sooner? So all in all, it looks like Tesla is giving free Roadsters to about 60 people, and 20 of those people are getting two Roadsters. So 80 Roadsters at about $250,000 a pop would mean about $20 million. So that's a lot of money that Tesla is kind of losing there in a sense, but it was a referral program, so obviously they made a bunch of money on all these Tesla sales. And yes, I know that it doesn't cost them $250,000 to make each of these cars. It definitely costs them a lot less, but they're still gonna have a lot of free Roadsters to give away. So I'm really curious if this comes out in 2020. I can't wait to see all those videos of people getting them. And how's it gonna work for those 20 people who got two free Roadsters? Is a truck gonna pull up to their house and drop two of them off? That would be pretty insane and a pretty awesome YouTube video. However, as I mentioned, it's probably delayed because of Model 3 production. That was definitely their priority. And the Roadster is definitely not Tesla's priority. And so, I hope it comes out in 2020, this year, but maybe it's gonna come out in 2021. In any case, we should definitely see the Model Y, which I'm, of course, very excited about, and the semi-truck, and on top of that, the plaid version of the Model S, and then a possible Model S refresh with the new screen, and then on top of that, the million-mile battery. Other than that, we know that after the Cybertruck unveil, Elon said, quote, 
Cybertruck is our last product unveil for a while, but there will be some mostly unexpected technology announcements next year. So as far as new products go, we're probably not gonna see anything new in 2020, but we're hopefully gonna see a few things actually release. What are you most looking forward to this year for Tesla? For me, it's obviously the Model Y, but leave a comment below and let me know what you're most excited about. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you get notified every time I come out with a new video about Tesla throughout this whole year and I'll see you on the next video.